Hi, I'm Drauzio Sperati. Another interesting topic that we're going to discuss today is about indexing on the bike on implants. Many clinicians that are experienced with other implant systems feel that Bicon should have some way to indexing. Actually, it's not necessary. The system is very simple. Uh, those users of implant systems that have a screw connection between the button and the implant may feel the need of the hex connection in order to properly line up the buttons or the crowns that are being inserted. For the Bicon system, this is very simple to be done. If you're inserting an abutment only, all the bike on abutments for fixed restorations, they have a flat side that you can line up towards the buckle. So it's easy to know the proper direction of that abutment. If inserting a single crown restoration, the lab technicians, when after making the crown, can make a small jig that we can extend, passing over the crown to the adjacent teeth. So we know exactly the position of the crown should be inserted because this is the way the technicians made the crown. If you're inserting multiple single crowns, a jig can also be made directly over these crowns. You can also extend the jig over these crowns and one adjacent to, or over these crowns and adjacent teeth. If inserting a bridge, the bridge itself can be your jig. So the bridge, you can insert the abutment directly inside the bridge, and the bridge will dictate the proper alignment of the abutments among themselves. This can be done for small bridges or full large restorations. Remember, Bicon system is very simple, very useful, and eliminates the need for screw connections and torque winches. Hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.